Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and I have two products here to show you that are essentially for users who have a lot of hard drives. You may need, have a lot of files that need storage but you also need a place to store those hard drives inside your system. For example, if you are building a home server. So iSodoc has the MB97 uh, series. You have the MB973 SP-B which has three spaces for a three and a half inch hard drive or of course if you can use the uh, easy convert utility you can con convert a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch and put them in there up to three devices that only occupy two five and a quarter inch drive bays inside your case and uh, another one is of course for those who have one additional drive you have the MB974 SB-B which has pretty much the same functionality with one additional drive and occupies one more um, five and a quarter inch drive bay. So essentially it is a four and three and the MB973 SP-B is essentially uh, a, a three and two. And as you can see there, both have uh, LED indicators for the drives and uh, these are actually on and off buttons as well. You have the eSATA, you have USB 2.0, you have a, also they have a fan uh, on and off switch at the front. So I'm not gonna read the entire box here. I'm gonna bore you. Might as well just open the box and show you what you can find inside these boxes and show you the features. All right, both products are essentially the same. Of course, the difference is the size and inside you can find Let's just remove the packaging here. Pull it out. Yeah, it comes with a protective styrofoam packaging, although the products themselves are quite durable since they have an aluminum body there. Now the MB974 SP B, pretty much the same. Inside each package, you get the mounting screws as well. Basically, get long screws for the fan and shorter screws for mounting it inside your case. Move the tape here. It's easier to pull out. And see the manual for the MB973 SP-B, which is uh, essentially called the Flex Cage series. It's a all English manual here at the front, and you also have uh, multiple languages here at the back for other users. And uh, I'm just focus on the MB973 SP-B right now. As you can see here at the back, you get the 80 millimeter fan powered by two Molex connectors, a four pin, and you also have SATA connectors here for the three drives inside the back. I can show you. And the fan itself, as um, is, there's a three pin and a two pin connector. You can use each one depending on the type of fan you can use. Of course, you can replace these fans whenever they die down or just if you want to replace it with something stronger or quieter and this fan is actually automatically controlled I'll show you here in the front you have automatic depending on the temperature the MB973 SP-B automatically detects the temperature needed and adjusts the fan speed accordingly you also have a low or high and you also have the on and off switch for each of the drives these actually light up you have the uh, they will light a blue for activity and also for rather for the um, functionality whether they're on and off and also as another activity light inside you have the e SATA connector and a USB 2.0 connector so let me go back here to the rear again and me show you the connectors here I'm tied here in the back you have the e SATA connector here the red 
the rear. It doesn't have a latch, just a straightforward connector. And you also get a USB 2.0 connector, which uh, is actually separated into five headers here instead of the single one. Let me grab something here. Let me grab a typical USB 2.0 connector you see here. In your motor, you'll get something like this. The ninth pin right there is essentially a ground pin, and you're getting these. You also have a ground pin there. So you have to match each of the color there. I would have preferred if they have something solid like this one, even if it's just one row. So it's sort of easier to plug in. You don't have to use an adapter. Well, either way, that's a functionality that is on the MB973SP-B. And see all aluminum body help dissipate some of the heat if you're holding a drive in there. Also a pin out here at the top for each of the connectors. You have the standard uh, mounting for uh, five and a quarter inch drive base. The difference is, of course, you only need to. Uh, there's only holes here in the bottom, so you don't need to screw too much. Just at the bottom. Now, as for the triggerless design here, you can see there is ventilation, and uh, to open them, you can see that there is a button inside. You essentially just press that button and pull it, and then you can see. Let me just open it completely, so you can see each of the drive tray. I actually have one drive side ready. I just tested it earlier. You have the, I have here my IC dock converter for a 2.5 inch SSD drive. You can use a 3.5 inch drive or a 2.5 inch converted with the IC dock easy convert and be it a 2 SP. And fully open there. And they, again, they lock very easily. So they are trailless, and when you're installing a drive inside, all you need to do is, of course, take your 3.5 inch drive and then just push it in place. You'll hear uh, essentially three clicks. First one, when you put it in, two, when uh, let me do this slowly, one to lock it, and then the third one is essentially for securing it completely. There you go. And uh, the MB974SP-B is essentially the same. You have this drive right here. And of course you have more screws. Similarly to the MB973SP-B, you have uh, only mounting holes at the bottom and additional fan mounting holes. Other fan mounting screws in case you need to replace or add screws to your fan. And let's open this up completely. I haven't opened this up yet. Once again, you get the MB9 for a speed dash manual. The layout comes in multiple languages. Aluminum body, only mounting at the bottom, as you can see there. The same 80 millimeter fan at the rear. But in this case, you have SATA connectors for power instead of Molex connectors. Actually, I prefer SATA connectors rather than Molex connectors, but you get also the SATA ports for the hard drives and the 2-pin or the 3-pin uh, fan connectors. You get the E-SATA connector to plug into your motherboard, and you also get the USB 2.0 headers, which are, again, split into individual leads. And, of course, in the front, same way, you have LEDs. And you have the on and off switch LEDs. You have the fan controller for high, low, and auto. You get the USB 2.0 eSATA front. And also the locking mechanism. You have the trailless design again. And that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to run my benchmarks. So you can see how well the MB973 SP-B performs compared to uh, having my SSD plugged in directly to the motherboard and when inside the MB974 SP-B or MB973 SP-B flex cage hard drive enclosures.